I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. You saw my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the you're... taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever... hurt somebody... you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find some place safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad.
Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad to. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hey. You saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Which way out? Through there. It 
didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. Missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> 